Yo, what is good people? Ben from Lover of Tech and we are back with another ultimate camera comparison. This time it's in the mid-range, under sub 400, the Pixel 6a versus the Nothing Phone 1. And we're pretty much going to put it through all its paces, through daylight, low light, videos and photos for the selfie and the rear cameras. Now we're starting off with the selfie and this is only limited up to 1080p 30 frames a second. But yeah, we're going to go through the specs very quickly, then into the main camera comparison. Just a quick breakdown of the camera specs hardware for both these phones. With the Pixel 6a, it is using two 12 megapixel cameras for the rear for the wide and ultra wide and then eight megapixel selfie. Whereas the Nothing Phone 1 is using two 50 megapixel sensors for the wide and ultra wide and a 16 megapixel selfie. Yeah, all the full details of the camera specs will be in the description below. But sit back, relax and watch the most detailed camera comparison between both these phones. So this is with the selfie 1080p 30 frames a second. And just seeing how the image quality, the colors and the dynamic range and the stability is like. This is with the speech enhancement off on the Pixel 6a. Quick run. Okay, so we've turned on the speech enhancement on the Pixel 6a. Again, both these selfies are limited to just 1080p 30 frames a second video. So yeah, hopefully we can see what the difference is like. Now we've moved over to the rear main sensor both in 4K UHD 30 frames a second in the stabilization mode that is standard on both. See how the image quality is like and the stability. Quick run. Now we switch to the ultra wide lens on both these cameras, still in 4K 30 frames a second. Now what is an odd limitation is in 4K 30 on the Nothing Phone 1, you can't switch lenses on the fly. You have to stop recording and start again in 4K 30 frames a second. Whereas as you can see on the Pixel 6a, you can move into the standard, which zooms in nice and smooth. Digital zoom times two on the main, back to the main and into the ultra wide which transitions nice and smooth whereas this is not something you can do on the nothing phone one quick run we've now moved over to 1080p 30 frames a second on the main wide sensor and again the same limitation applies for the nothing phone one you cannot switch on the fly to the ultra wide you have to stop recording and start again quick run we've now switched to the ultra wide on both these cameras for 1080p 30 frames a second just a quick demonstration to show you can switch It's not something you can do on the Nothing Phone 1. Quick run. We've now moved over to 1080p 60 frames a second on both. And again, same limitation applies. Have to stop recording to switch it out of the lens. We're on the main sensor right now on both. Quick run. Still in 1080p 60 frames a second, but now switched to the ultra wide. And again, with the Pixel 6a, you can just switch and go back. Switch and go back. Quick run. Let's take this up a notch. The Pixel 6a. A is now recording in 4K UHD, 60 frames a second, 
versus 1080p 60 frames a second on the nothing phone one it is limited to just the main sensor can't do it on the ultra wide but this is probably one of the only android phones that does 4k 60 at this price point very impressive quick run So we're trying out the different stabilization modes on the 6A. Uh, we are in the locked stabilization mode now, and this is in 4K 30 frames a second. It's at 2x zoom, and my goodness, is it still. So you're meant to actually lock it in position. You can zoom up to 5x. It's crazy. I'm I'm legit moving a lot. I'm legit moving. I'm literally swinging left to right into my eyes. Just locked in position. You'll probably see me moving left to right on the nothing phone one, but on here, it's kind of trippy. Yeah, it moves a little bit, but within range at 2x, I'm literally moving left to right. Yeah, so this is meant to really give you kind of like a handheld tripod look. So we've gone into 1080p 30 frames a second. We've put it in the active stabilization on the Pixel 6, and this is meant to be kind of like a heavy stabilization mode for fast running, fast movements, almost like mimicking what you would get from an action camera. We're going to do a super fast run. Okay, we're in 4K 30 frames a second on the main wide sensor on both. Pretty much just shining on me to see how it deals with skin tones stabilization colors and the dynamic range it is a hot day today so yeah we're pushing these phones so we've now switched to 1080p 30 frames a second same thing just seeing how it performs we've now switched to 1080p 60 frames a second just to see how they look and perform And we are now in 4K UHD 60 frames a second on the Pixel 6a and still at 1080p 60 frames a second on the Nothing Phone 1. So we switch to the ultra wide on both but in 4K 30 frames a second. Just seeing the difference in the ultra wide quality. Now we're in the low light situation here at night time between the Pixel 6a and the Nothing Phone 1. Recording in 4K 30 frames a second on the main sensor on both. We've had to pause it to switch to the ultra wide in 4K 30 frames a second as you can't seamlessly do that on the Nothing Phone 1. We've now dropped it to 1080p 30 frames a second on both. Now, this is now activated with the night mode for video on the Nothing Phone 1, which is limited to 1080p 30 frames a second. And then we're on 1080p with auto FPS to help with the low light video on the Pixel 6a. We're testing out the selfie video 1080p 30 frames a second on both. Let's kick things off by analyzing the daytime shots, starting with the landscape pictures. From the ultra wide to the wide sensor, one thing that is consistent across both phones is that much better dynamic range, detail and colors on the Pixel 6a. From the shadow details in the tree and also the correct exposure in the highlights in the clouds and sky, the Pixel 6a is holding up very well. As both do not have a dedicated zoom lens, minus the color difference, they're near enough performing the same. 
The Pixel 6 a does zoom up to 7x digital zoom, while the Phone 1 zooms up to 20x digital. So take with that what you would like. With the shot of the leaf, both have great detail with the white balance on the Pixel being more on the warmer side compared to the cooler look on the Nothing Phone 1. One advantage the Phone 1 has is a dedicated macro mode built into the ultra wide lens and when using it, the white balance actually shifts more to a warmer tone. With the last set of landscape shots, the pattern is consistent from before with better detail in the foreground and the overall image on the Pixel 6a. And also, if you look at things like the better shadow detail and a better dynamic range, and in my opinion, subjectively, better colors. As we move over to the selfie images, we start to see the differences widen even more. At first glance, you would think because of the brighter look of the images that the phone one is actually doing a good job and it is doing decent. But again, the lack of dynamic range and exposing correctly for the highlights and the overall image, the Pixel 6a really does a good job here. This then translates to the same experience when in portrait mode, but even further because of the better edge detection on the 6a and more accurate blur with no adjustments needed out of the box. If we repeat the same selfie shots, but in an extreme backlit situation to really push and test the dynamic range, the Pixel 6a yet again comes out on top. Last set of daylight pictures using the rear cameras on myself and with both cameras, especially on the wide, sensor you can really see google's real tone get into work with a more consistent and accurate look to my skin and still maintaining good dynamic range for the overall image now the ultra wide camera in this situation for the phone one looks to produce better dynamic range colors detail and a slightly wider field of view but the pixel 6a still holds its own and stays more consistent between each lens now portrait mode in this situation shows the biggest difference yet the phone one has the advantage as it does have a wider field of view compared to the heavier crop with the Pixel 6a when standing in the same position, but the overall look, colors, dynamic range, and also the edge detection with blur is much better produced on the Pixel 6a. Let's move over to the nighttime low light shots and starting off with the standard shots on the ultra wide and the wide and cropped 2x zoom on both. This is where the more modern sensor on the Nothing Phone 1 really helps it here. There's less noise, less color shift, and an overall cleaner look on the Phone 1 compared to the Pixel 6. This is also similar once we move into this extreme low light situation where even my eyes couldn't see at a distance. Not by much in this extreme situation, but the Phone 1 is cleaner on the ultra wide and wide. Night mode does shift the tide back to the Pixel 6a with better results on the ultra wide and with one last advantage of the last image where the Pixel was using astrophotography. Low light selfies are also challenging and not by much, but the Pixel 6a takes it here when taking the standard shots. Now, for some reason, although the phone one showed the option for night mode selfie, it did not work at all even after trying several times, which in this case, actually works well on the Pixel 6a, as you can see. Your best option would be to use the screen flash in low light for both phones, especially for the Nothing Phone 1. Portrait mode works in low light on both phones, but yet again, the night mode portrait mode only works on a selfie when using a Pixel 6a, and it did not work on the Nothing Phone 1. The last set of low light images on myself shows again, in the standard shots, the Phone 1 does have an overall cleaner image and this is more evident on the ultra wide, which it definitely favors the phone one with a lot more noise on the Pixel 6a. Night mode yet again is the difference maker for the Pixel 6a and the fact that you can also use night mode with low light portrait mode on the rear camera. This is a strong outing for the Pixel 6a. Summarizing the daylight selfie video, although both are limited to 1080p 30 frames a second, the difference in performance is huge as the Pixel 6a has better stabilization, colors, and dynamic range. The same goes for the rear video camera performance. You saw it before, you have more options on the Pixel 6a with 4K 60 frames a second on a main camera. The ability to switch lenses without having to stop recording when in 4K 30, 1080p 30, and also 1080p 60 much better video stabilization across the board with more video stabilization options, just like you would find in the more expensive Pixel 6 Pro. And of course, better colors, detail, and 
dynamic range. For low light video, although limited to just 1080p 30 frames a second, it is good to see a dedicated night mode for video on the Nothing Phone 1, which really helps it here even though it's limited to the main sensor, I would usually recommend staying away from the ultra wide for video when in low light for most phones regardless of the price point. For the audio performance, the phone one blocks out a lot more noise when it comes to the background but at the cost of what feels like a more processed sound to the mic compared to the more natural pickup on the Pixel 6a even though more of the background noise will come into your audio when using the Pixel 6a for video. That is it with this ultimate camera comparison between the Pixel 6a and the Nothing Phone 1. Let me know your thoughts if there was any surprises from your side or was it as predictable as you thought it would be. That is it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Level Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.